Welcome to the CBS Radio Mystery Theater Archives, the only YouTube channel which has the original classic episodes of the CBS Radio Mystery Theater in order with no ads. Thank you for listening, and now, enjoy the show. G. Marshall, tell me, do you ever talk to an inanimate object as if it's alive? No? What about, uh, say, your car? Ever give it a name, converse with it like a friend or an enemy, depending on how it's behaving? No? You've never done that? Well, then go back a little. When you were a kid, you didn't believe your doll or teddy bear loved you as much as you loved it? You did. So, you'll admit that sometimes an inanimate thing can seem to have qualities of a living being. Good enough. Now, I can ask you not to be too hard on 70-year-old Charlie, who passionately believed... Are you ready for this? Believed an elevator he called Nellie was an understanding, loving friend. Charlie is not just too old for a responsible job. He's a loony. He courts that elevator like it's alive. Nelly, he calls it, his sweetheart. I want Charlie and that broken-down crate out of here, and that's flat. Our suspense drama, Tomorrow Will Never Come, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Nancy Moore and stars Robert Dryden. I'll be back shortly with Act One. Her name was Nellie, and she was a beauty in the eyes of Charlie Henkel, a treasure unsurpassed by any elevator anywhere. Nellie was one of those old-fashioned lifts almost extinct today. She was built of the finest mahogany, and her meshing door was shining brass. She had two benches upholstered in red velvet, a big polished mirror, and a little wall vase for flowers. Charlie's sweetheart, Nellie was... And I'm falling a little in love with her myself. Mr. Frank Green was the landlord of Nellie's small apartment building, circa 1920. Ten floors, two apartments to a floor, his own living quarters and office on the main floor. Fred says you want to see me, Mr. Green. That's right. Have a seat, Charlie. Is Fred running the elevator? Uh, yes, sir. If it runs. Oh, Nellie runs just fine for Fred. She likes him. And that's why I let him take over from midnight to six. She knows he's the best superintendent in New York. Your idea of the best super is one that goes along with your nonsense about that fool elevator. Oh, please. Don't say things like that about my Nelly. I have a good deal more to say about your Nelly. That's why you're here. What about her? She has to go. I'm replacing her with a modern elevator. You're... Re I didn't hear you right. Oh, you heard me. You're old, but you're not deaf. I won't run one of them newfangled elevators. No, sir, I won't. Well, that's right, you won't. It'll be run by whatever tenant rides in it. All they have to do is press a button. What? Nelly? Me and Nelly? Now, 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 just take it easy, Charlie. I'm sorry, but it's time that you and that old re elevator both retired. You're 70, and Nellie's over 50. Nellie thrown on a junk heap. Buttons to take the place of a man. Mr. Green, just please listen to me. Nellie and me, we're history. Ancient history. Well, look at the famous people that rode up and down with us. There was Mayor Jimmy Walker. Oh, real dandy he was in his high silk hat. And then one time, Charlie uh, Chaplin... Never mind the famous that you and Nellie carted. It's a world of automation now. 
How would you like it if somebody wanted to replace you with buttons? Well, I wouldn't sit there and snivel. Now, talk sense. You know Nellie's past her time. She stalls. She wheezes. When she does run, she creeps. Any day now, an inspector will notice that weakening cable, and she'll be condemned. Well, if you buy her a new cable, she could run another 50 years. A cable is cheaper than a whole new... Please, just buy a cable, sir. No. I'll buy it myself. I'll buy it with my savings. No. All right, then. You going to forget what me and Nellie have done for this building? That fire on six. All the stairways burning. We brought all the tenants down. Not a soul hurt. Uh, and, 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 and that burglar last year, he tied me up with ropes. He figured he'd run Nellie himself. Uh, she knew who he was. She stalled between floors. Wouldn't budge. Held that thief right there till the police came. All right. Cut the soft stuff, Charlie. What will the tenants do without us to take care of them? Mr. Cates... Him in his wheelchair. A new elevator would slam its door right on him. And Mr. Clements in 5B and Miss O'Neill and... Sure, sure, you spoil them all. And while you're at it, let's mention Miss Hartley. Every darn day you bring that has-been actress a bottle so she can tipple from morning till night. Sir? Oh, come off it, Charlie. Everyone knows she's a wino. No, sir. I bring Miss Hartley milk. In a pig's eye, it's milk. She was a great, famous actress. And she never lets us forget it. The lustrous name of Patricia Hartley was in lights on Broadway for 30 years. Oh, I, I don't know what she'll do if me and Nellie go... I've had all I can stomach of this. Now, the discussion is finished. Nellie. Nellie. And Nellie's finished. She's... Oh, blast it. You've got me talking like that thing is human. It's an it. You and it have one week's notice. What? Oh, don't worry. You'll get severance pay. But a week from today, they'll start installing the new elevator. <laughs> Much obliged, Fred. Was Nellie on her good manners? <laughs> well, the truth is, she was a little shaky, Charlie. You know, every time she started up, she uh, kind of shuddered. She was worried about me. Well, from the look of you, she had a right to be. Now, what, what, what's wrong, old friend, huh? I can't tell you in front of Nellie. Oh. Well, step away from her. Come on over here. It's likely she knows anyhow... Nellie knows things. Well, I don't. So tell me, huh? Mr. Green, he says that me and Nellie... Uh, no, no, no. You, you don't have to tell me. I knew it was in the air. I just hoped it wouldn't happen. Charlie, you know how sorry I am. And so will all the tenants be. No, not all. Mr. Norton, maybe Mr. Grant. Them? Huh. Neither of them has lived here long, that's why. One week. One more week. No. No. Some kind of way Nellie and me will figure out how to stay. I was wrong to say I wouldn't tell her. I got to. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. You, you'll find a way now. It's the surest thing you know. Yes, we will. You betcha. You all right, Charlie? Yeah, I will be after I talk to Nellie. Nellie? You miss me, sweetheart? What does she say when you ask her that, huh? Oh, it's a pity you can't hear. She's got a real sweet voice, and she talks kind of old-fashioned. She said, Charlie, I missed you more than tongue can tell. Old-fashioned. <laughs> well, we're off. Nellie, before we start, you know what Mr. G said? We got bad trouble. It's just you don't know what it is, huh? I'll tell you after we take Miss Hartley her milk. Then you and me will go clear up to the top and talk. Charlie! Oh, come in, Miss Hartley. I'll be up there in a jiff. I'll wait in my apartment. Nellie, that means she's lonesome. She'll feel real bad if I don't stop into her apartment and talk. You'll be patient, will you? But 
But you and me got a lot to do. We got to outsmart Henry Green. You and me together. We've been together 50 years. And that's how we're going to stay. Oh, here we are. Now, I'll just be right across the hall. Call if you need me, and I'll leave Miss Hartley's door open so as I can hear you buzz. I'll be back in five, ten minutes. Oh, come in, dear Charlie. Enter. Welcome. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh, would you please leave the door open? Uh, I know, I know. Oh, you've brought my milk. How kind, how thoughtful. Uh, uh, do sit down and make yourself comfortable while I have a little milk. Um, I've not had any uh, breakfast yet. Yeah, well, I, I can't stay long, Miss Hartley. Nellie and me, we, well, I, I can't stay long. Uh, ooh, uh, it tastes good. I hope it helps your morning headache like always. Oh, yes. I uh, really should get a glass, shouldn't I? Uh, no matter. Um, now, uh, tell me the news. There uh, ain't any. You're keeping something back. There's a quality in your voice. Now you tell me. No, I... I can't talk about it. Not until I talk with Nellie. She wouldn't like it if I would just... Oh, she's calling. I, I got to go. Yes, I hear her call. You really do hear Nellie? Uh, certainly I hear. Uh, but not always. Uh, just sometimes. Ah, uh, the milk. Yes, uh. the milk. Joan of Arc heard voices. And ever since I played her, I've had my own voices. That's nice. Uh, goodbye, Miss Hartley. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear Charlie. My love to Nelly. <laughs> Here we are, Nellie, dear. Up top by the roof where we like it best, huh? <laughs> now I'll tell you about Mr. Green. Why, you knew all the time? Oh, ain't you my smart girl. So, Nellie, what can we do to stop him? What? You know how? Tell me. Yes? Yes? That's what you think we should do? Oh, I don't know, Nellie. Do that? Yeah, I do see it could be the only way. Oh, no, of course I ain't afraid. Not with you, but if some other way it turns up, then we won't have to do that. All right, it's our secret. We won't tell a soul. No, I, I I didn't say I wasn't willing. I am, I am. On account of what Mr. G wants to do to us is murder, Nelly. It's murder. Murder. An extreme, reckless word? Not to Charlie. For an ordinary doomed elevator, the word would be destroyed. The same fate planned for Nelly was, in Charlie's mind... Cold-blooded murder. Charlie is an addled old man, you say. That teddy bear in your childhood, if someone took it away, tore it to shreds, wouldn't you have said that person killed it? Then, in charity, say Charlie is a childlike old man, and like a child, is ready to go to any lengths to save his Nellie. We will learn in Act Two, if he succeeds. We have Charlie, an old, old gentleman. We have Nellie, an old, old elevator. And regrettably, we have Mr. Green. That man of flint gave one week's notice to Charlie and Nellie. Four days have passed. By now, all tenants have heard of the improvement their landlord intends. Henry Green expected gratitude. What has he had instead? Complaints tears from 9B downright insults. To what avail? None. The fancy new steel and formica button-operated elevator will be installed as planned. Not if the tenants have their way. 
Here's one of them now, knocking on Mr. W.W. W. Norton's door, 3A. Who is it? It is Patricia Hartley. Well, Miss Hartley, to what do I owe this honor? Uh, Mr. Norton, uh, we've not been very neighborly since you took up residence here. Fact is, you've been insufferably rude to almost everyone in the building, but all that must be forgotten in our common plight. We have a common plight? Uh, am I to be kept standing in a drossy hallway while I answer? Oh, uh, my apologies. Uh, do step inside. Thank you. Well, would you care to sit down, Miss Hartley? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Norton. I am here about the petition. I thought so. We, the undersigned, protest the booting out of Charlie Hanker and his inamorata. No, lady, I'm not signing any such petition. But we need everyone's signature. Every tenant has signed except you. You have a sharp tongue, uh, but I do know you have a kind heart. I'm not signing. In three days, exit Nelly and good riddance. You cannot possibly mean that. Think of all the devoted years Nelly has carried us up and down, up and down. Uh, and the old girls got asthma, arthritis, and the bends. Onward and upward with the times, lady. Nelly can't move onward or upward or down. Oh, she can, she does. When she's not stalled between floors. What of dear Charlie? Do you want to be rid of Charlie? <sighs> Look, he's a nice old codger, but he's cracked as an egg, and it's time he's put out to pasture. Oh, oh, oh have you no pity? When I played Desdemona, Iago had more compassion than you. Oh, sir, you've got to sign. You must. Oh, good Lord. You're cruel and selfish, beastly, inhuman. Miss Hartley. Oh, oh, Fred, it just may be that you saved my life. Oh, Fred. I, I, I figured you might need some help, Miss Hartley. I... Oh, what is this, a conspiracy? Oh, we will not sign. No, 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 no. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'll, I'll talk to Mr. Norton. Oh, now, you pushing that petition, too, will oh, save your breath. He doesn't care if Charlie dies. Uh, Miss Hartley, go along home. I'll be down to see in a little while. Don't talk to you, Freddy. He's heartless. Oh, yes, 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 he will. He will. Now, just, just go along now. All right. Oh, all right. Now, what is this, Fred? What do you care about that fool petition? Well, the staff wants Charlie and Nellie to stay, too. Staff? That's you? And, all right, me. Oh, use your head. Charlie's not just too old for a responsible job. He's a loony. He he courts that elevator like it's alive. Nelly, his sweetheart. But, but who does it harm? He calls it Nelly because when a young Charlie first came here, he did have a sweetheart named Nelly. Oh, that's a new twist. No, no, it's true. It's true. She died. An old timer that lived here told me for a while Charlie talked to his lost Nelly like he was trying to call her back. And then after time went by, he, he, well, he just transferred her name to his elevator. Hmm. A pretty yarn. Even if true, it doesn't change the facts. I pay for service here, and I don't get it. I have to walk up and down more often than I ride. So you won't sign? Would it cut any ice if I did? Green won't pay any attention to it. If Charlie's let out and he loses Nellie, it'll kill him. Now, you want that to be on your conscience? It won't be on my conscience. I'm not exactly fond of broken-down actresses either. That old doll is still acting. You should have heard her. No wonder. She knocks off a couple bottles of that rot-gut wine a day. So would you, if you were dying. What? That's right. She is dying. Some kind of slow blood disease. Oh, that's her story. More theatrics. No, 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 no. She never said a word to anyone. Her doctor comes here. He told me. Oh, well, I'm sorry. And her shoes, I might drown my sorrows, but 
That doesn't mean I want her up here awash in wine and tears. This way out, Fred. Will you will you think about the petition, huh? WBBM Chicago. Who is it now? Fred. Good morning. Now, oh, wait till I unbolt this thing. Locked in your office, uh, Mr. Green? Yeah, these days leave this door unlocked. Half the tenants will crash in here. Had a belly full of them all week. Now it's Charlie's last day, and if yeah, I... Yes, sir, I, I know. And not a word out of you about it, either. No, no, sir. No. Yesterday, Patricia Hartley marched in, uh, totters in, with a tenant's petition. That's not a good it did him. Or Charlie. I told you to button up about Charlie. Uh... Your orders for the day, sir? Yeah. One, tell any tenant that hollers for me that I'm out of town. Two, wouldn't surprise me if Charlie's a little nuttier than usual his last day and all. For Pete's sake, try to calm him down. Oh, he, he's he's been real calm all this week, wouldn't you say? I mean, considering what's on his mind. Yeah. Thought he'd pester me. But he hasn't even been in here. What do you think he's up to? Well, what could he be up to? He hasn't anywhere to turn. He had a kind of foxy look every time I saw him. Like he and uh, that elevator won the war. Well, he did say a couple of times he and Nellie have a secret. Oh, far away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when he said it, he did have a foxy look. Well, thank the Lord, after today, he's out of here. He'll be more than that. And what does that mean? It means he'll be dead. What? Losing Nellie will kill him. Oh, that's a cheap shot, Fred. I'm only doing what any sensible man would do with any regard for his tenant's safety. Now, about tomorrow. The electrician from Armstrong Elevator Company will be here early. He'll disconnect ne- our elevator. About an hour later, the wreckers come. You got that? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Franklin. Oh, Lord, forgot to bolt the door. I'm very busy, Miss Hartley. Indeed you are busy, busy destroying a man's life. Here. What's this? It is money to buy a new cable for Nellie. Hmm. I personally took up a collection. There is also enough to pay Charlie's salary for three more months. That should warm the cockles of your penny-pinching heart if you have a heart. The tenants have bought a three months reprieve for Nellie. The tenants have bought nothing. Take back the money, Miss Hartley, and you, Fred, take Miss Hartley out of this office. Nellie, we want it on four. Now, go real nice, Nellie, dear. Mind what day this is. Mr. G thinks we're old, you and me, ready for the junk heap. Today we show him different. We're on our way. Uh, Who was it said, take no thought for the tomorrow? Uh, I don't just recollect, but that's what we'll do. We've got today, Nellie. A lot can happen in a day. Coming, coming for... We're almost up to three. Sweetheart, can't you go a little faster? Hey, that's a good girl. Uh, well, what was it you said we could do, Nellie? Our secrets? I disremember. It's gone right out of my head. Here we are, Mr. Kramer. Here we are. Will you please hurry? Uh, yes, ma'am, Miss Hartley. I, I'm here, and your milk's here all fine and dandy. Oh, Charlie, what will I ever do without you? Shh, 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 shh. Nellie hears. But it's her last day. That monster, Mr. Green, refused to take the money. Uh, yes, ma'am, you told me, but it don't matter. Well, how can you say that? Tomorrow, Nellie will... will be... Oh. That's what folks think, but we know things, Nellie and me. We got a secret. Oh, tell me. I adore secrets. How we'll keep tomorrow from ever coming. 
It can't come. You're the only one who knows about me. If I have to buy the milk myself, people will see me, and I... Oh, I, I don't want them to find out Patricia Hartley is... is... Oh, what I am. Take no thought for the morrow. Me and Nellie don't. We've got today, a whole day. Look, see how I shine Nellie up? Her mirror, her mahogany. And her red rose in her voice. Oh, she's beautiful. Yeah, she's a beauty, all right. I brushed her red velvet, too. I love her. The idea of a hideous modern elevator. Run it yourself. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get all mixed up. No, no, no. What ails the world? No room anymore for what's beautiful. It's gone up the spout. Oh, 6B says all anything needs to be today is functional. Well, I am out of style then, too. Buttons to take the place of a man. So I'm 70. But who learns a thing worth knowing till the years add up and time is a friend? Where's the super, mister? Oh, I'm the super. Looked like the doorman to me. Super, doorman, handyman, you name it. Well, I'm the electrician. I didn't send for any electrician. Armstrong Elevator Company here to disconnect an elevator. Oh, no, 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 that's tomorrow. You're a day early. It's today, chum. Here's the order. Dated today. So, let's get on the ball. Take no thought for the morrow. But suddenly, tomorrow is today. The electrician holds in his hand a paper clearly stating that on this day, an elevator is to be dismantled. What happens now to Charlie's promise that he'll never let anyone take Nellie away? And what of their secret plan that is to save them both? The secret Charlie thinks Nellie told him, but it was conjured, of course, within his own mind. Promises and secrets and something more will soon be dealt with when I return with Act Three. It was Robert Browning who wrote the lines, Grow old along with me. The best is yet to be. The last of life for which the first was made. Indeed, Charlie and Nellie have grown old together. But is the best yet to be or the worst? Mm -hmm. Judging by the paper the super is staring at, the worst is at hand. Now, this, this thing is wrong. It says today, don't it? So let's go get that elevator down to the basement. The records will be here in an hour. Hey, uh, no, no. no. Hey, wait. Uh, you come back tomorrow, huh? No, I got a full schedule tomorrow. Today, too. Now, come on, man. You want to break Charlie's heart? Who's Charlie? It's, uh, it's our old elevator man. You know, he's run the thing for 50 years. Calls it Nelly. Talks to it. He buys it roses. What, is he office rocker? No, no. He's, he's just a nice old guy. You see, he thinks he's got this last day. Well, it means a lot to him. Uh, well, you come back tomorrow, huh? How the owner like the bill if I'm here twice? He's paying right now, portal to portal. Wreckers on their way, he's paying for that, too. Twice? How do your boss like that, huh? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so let's get cracking. No, 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 wait. Look, look, I'll call him on the house phone right here. Make it snappy, will you? Uh, it's Fred, Mr. Green. Armstrong Elevator is here a day early. Uh, yeah, it's a dirty trick on Charlie. No, he counted on this last day. Uh, can I tell the guy to come back tomorrow? They charge extra for that? Well, yeah, uh, but we can't do this to Charlie. Fred, I told you I'm fed up with all this garbage. What's one lousy day? Well, to Charlie, it's something big. and you know, I, I don't know exactly what, but it's big. Well, it's big to me, too. It's money. You tell the guy to go ahead. Well, no dice. Now, look, uh, fella, we'll have to con Charlie a little, you know? You go along with anything I say to him, okay? All right, the kooks, you're meeting this business. Hey, uh, take us down, will you, Charlie? Who's he? Huh? Oh, uh, Inspector. Yeah, monthly checkup. Ah, uh, that's not the inspector. I never saw him before. It's your replacement. Hmm. That right, mister? Yeah. What's in that toolbox? It's tools. What else? 
Now, now, come on, Charlie. Move aside. Take us down, huh? No, he can walk down. Look, He's here to hurt Nelly. Quit it, Charlie. Just, just take it easy, huh? An inspector inspects in the basement, not in the lobby. Inspect? For what? Well, you know for what. You'll find out if Nelly needs any repair. Now, listen, old man. You're lossing up my schedule. Take this pile of junk to the basement or I'll take it myself. No, oh, don't you touch Nelly. You get away from her. I know who you are. I know. You want to stop her a day early? No, Charlie, no. Fred, I didn't think you'd lie to us. <sighs> well, all right. I just wanted to spare you a little if I could. It's all over today, Charlie. Not tomorrow. No. No, it ain't. We got this day. Can nobody take it away? Charlie! Move, Nelly! No, Char Charlie, wait! Wait, come back here! Nelly, Nelly, stop between one and two. Get Char this won't do any good, Charlie! <laughs> That's my good girl. No, no. We'll we'll just sit down right here. And a blessed thing they can do. Charlie Hinkle! Oh, it's Mr. G. Charlie! Yes, sir, Mr. Green? You get down here on the devil! Oh, my darling Nelly Gray, they can't take my Nell away. <laughs> How's that for new words, Nelly? You come down from there or, or you'll lose your pension. We don't want a pension. We want this day and we're going to have it. The devil you will. I'll get you out of there if I have to blast you out. Oh, Charlie, quit playing games, huh? What, what's one day? I'll tell you what this day is. It's our life. You take it away, and you're murderers. Hey, listen to him, Nellie girl. Games, Freddy said. Now look who's playing games. Him and Mr. G running up and down the stairs after us. <laughs> Me and you, we ride... Then sit like this, right level with the floors. Make them think they can grab us. <laughs> could, could have stopped us straight off if that master switch in the basement wasn't broke and Mr. G too cheap to get it fixed. Oh, oh they're, they're close now. We'd best move again so they can run some more. Run, Miss G. Run, Freddy. Here we go around the mulberry bush. <laughs> Mr. Green, can't we stop this hide and seek? Huh? No. Hey, hold, hold up a minute. I got an idea. Well? well now, look. I think he stopped on six. <coughs> yeah, six. A level again, not between floors now. Yes, yes. Oh, I'll stay here on four. You make a lot of racket getting to six, huh? Now, he usually goes two floors, so maybe he'll come down and stop here. Now, I back against the wall so he don't see me. He stops, and I jerk the door open. Eh, it won't work. Well, we can try. Tried everything else. Yeah, tell you it won't work. Well, then why don't we quit? I won't be made a fool of by that crazy old man. Excuse me, but he's already done that. Hmm. Fred, wouldn't you think that blasted thing would get stuck? It balks every day, but not today. Of course, Nelly, it won't get stuck today. Oh. <laughs> Didn't hear me follow you, did you? I just told in my bedroom slippers. Go away. My good man, I shall not go away. I shall tell you why Nelly will not get stuck today. This is all I need. She never, never stalls when there's an emergency. Can you pretend Charlie does not have a dire emergency at this tragic moment? Miss Hartley, kindly go to your apartment. We've got enough trouble here. I rejoice in your trouble. Shame, shame, chasing an old man. You are a wicked man. Uh, Miss Hartley, it, it'd be better if you did go on downstairs now. <laughs> the very idea of grown men racing up and down like two mad creatures. Uh, excuse me, please. You know what's that thing? Uh, a thermos of milk for Charlie if he gets thirsty. Uh, Charlie, can you hear me? 
Oh, yes, ma'am, Miss Hartley. Uh, there's milk here by the door. Uh, pick it up when these bloodhounds are someplace else. Well, gentlemen, why don't you continue to skip merrily up and down the stairs? <laughs> Nice to rest a little, huh, sweet Nelly? We've been at this foolishness near half an hour. <laughs> oh, my, your red rose looks pretty in that vase. Hey, shh, 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 listen. I think I hear them coming down again. <laughs> they got rested. Look, let's, let's pass them and tease them up to nine. Down is easy. They get winded running up. Nelly, you ain't supposed to stop here. Don't do this, girl. Move. Don't be stuck. They'll get us. He's stuck. Just look below. Grab the door. Okay. Open it. Now, Fred, get on top of that cockeyed elevator and, and crawl through the trap door. And do what, Mr. Green? Overpower the old fool. Mr. Green... I won't do it. I'm too fat to get through the... Oh, I'll get through. You bet your job I will. Uh, Nelly, 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 start. Move. You heard what Mr. G said. Uh, don't. He's, he's, he's on the top. He's up there. He'll crawl through the hatch. Oh, he's got it open. The vase, the flower vase. Give up, Charlie. Mr. Green... You come through that hatch, and I got this vase. I don't hold with hurting people, but so help me, I'll use it if I have to. Oh, you think you can win with a red rose and a vase, Charlie? Nelly, start. Ah, that a girl. Here we go, Mr. G. Oh, no. You can't squeeze your fatness into here before we hit the roof. You'll kill me. You can't get off. You can't get off. Fred, help me, Fred, help. I remember the secret, Nelly. I remember. Stop, Charlie, stop. Right up you go to the roof. Oh, for God's sake, stop. Okay. Oh. Okay, we stop. Oh. Now close that hatch and get off. Oh. Nelly don't like you. See, so you best do it fast. Uh, uh, safe. Safe. Mr. Green. Uh, Mr. Uh, Green, I'm right above you. Uh, open the door and pull me off this thing. I, I got here as quick as I could. Here. Uh, Give me your hands. Uh, uh, there. Uh, now. Uh, Ooh, are you all right, sir? Uh, he'd, he'd have killed me. Smash me like a... Like a cockroach against the roof. No, oh, no, no, he wouldn't. No, 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 Charlie wouldn't do that. Uh, the no. devil, he wouldn't. Mr. Green, I wouldn't. I tried to, but I couldn't do it. Uh, are you coming out of there? No, sir. All right. I'm calling the police. I'm charging you with assault and intent to kill. You'll come out, or they'll shoot you out. Charlie? You hear me? He's uh, probably talking it over with Nellie. And that's not all. They'll shoot that female rattle trap full of holes. It's nice here, Nellie. Up top, under the roof. Peaceful, huh? Nobody chasing us. When they do come, we're just a mite out of reach. Oh, Nelly girl, don't be mad at me. I recollected the secret all right, but I... I couldn't do it when the chance came. Murder, Mr. Green? Eh, yes, I know, I know, I know. He wants to murder us. Well, well, we'll think of something else. Or are you two wore out, sweet Nelly? Uh, police... Guns. Nelly, think how to stop tomorrow. You think. You decide. I'm tuckered out. 
Listen. They're coming. Come on. What do we do? Think, Nelly. A new plan, quick. Save us from tomorrow. There he is just about, Sergeant O'Toole. He's all yours. Charlie Hanko, you're under arrest. Now come along down from there and be quick about it. You leave us be. Nellie's about to tell me something. Nellie. Charlie, it's no use. Come on now. You want me to fetch you out with tear gas, mister? Officer, you let that poor persecuted man alone. Oh, don't bother me, lady. Hey, Hanko, you are resisting an officer. Nellie. Sweetheart. The key went. It broke. Charlie, no. Oh. They're falling. Charlie. Nellie, Charlie. Charlie. Have mercy on his soul. Charlie. Nelly? If he'd only got up and we told him to. Nelly. Nelly killed him. He loved her. And she killed him. No. No. Don't you understand? She saved him. Take Miss Hartley downstairs, Fred. Saved him from you. She and Charlie fooled you. They tricked you and they triumphed. Your cruel tomorrow will never come. Uh, Miss Hartley, shall we... Hush. Uh... Hush. Listen. I hear Charlie singing. Oh, my darling, Mary Gray. Charlie and Nellie asked only that they be together. They are. The tenants of the building arranged Charlie's burial. With him, where he lies, a bit of red velvet, small pieces of brass, mahogany, a cut glass face, miraculously not shattered, and Nellie's last red rose. I'll be back shortly. We are left with an unsolved mystery this time. The cable that snapped on that ancient elevator. Is it possible that Nellie did, after all, possess human traits? Could she have willed? No, of course she couldn't. Or could she? Our cast featured Robert Dryden, Grace Matthews, Earl Hammond, and Ray Owens. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. you enjoyed this episode of CBS Radio Mystery Theater. If you enjoyed this and want to hear more, please subscribe to this channel. You can also visit my other YouTube channel by searching